times 60 on frosty Gemyongsa by Thorme. Rivers of frost on the brow of Gemyongsa out there, up there past the ranks of apartment towers, bought off the plan hoping for a raise, past the washing line, through a streaked window, where I gaze in warm air, foolishly safe my bubble moment. Old mountain of cold, aching rock in a shell-blue sky. The stubble on your chin waits for another spring. That will pass and pass again. A billion years you've cared nothing about waiting. Only living imps do that, hoping for another spring. You are happy in my silly, fragile dream. Tomorrow I will meet her, a child of twenty springs, endlessly self-absorbed, already planning plastic surgery, to nip and tuck her tender, temporary skin. Her eyes will slide in mute disgust, past some minor evidence of body wear, some crime that I have multiplied her age by three, and still live, more or less, to tell the tale. There was a time, well, yesterday, if years are ours, when the end was nigh, apocalypse was waiting in the wings. The tragedy of youth's brief kiss and summer's date was rushing past the windows in my dream. It seemed a dusty words, but no hot breath of life could live to see the next grey hint of dawn. And time will come, indifferent in her way, to bouquets of words, entreaties, promises of healthy snacks, and surgeons' cheating knives, to take me into dust on frosty Gemyong Sun. Then, for a little while, I'll fear that passing, and soon pass beyond all care. But, hey, my funny bone still tickles. I'm an imp. Tomorrow I will meet her, this child of twenty springs.